talk to you about the widget builder uh, under Pinterest for Business and I'm in the help section of Pinterest in my account and there's a lot of great things you can do and use for your board for your Facebook page um, for any of your blog articles and I've actually had a couple questions of how do you use this pin it button they're trying to get a pin it button um, directly on their blog and they've had a hard time doing that so I'm going to go ahead and log into my blog right now and uh, that way I can show you exactly what I'm talking about and I'm going to show you how we're going to get this done so one moment please okay here we go so even though this is in my back office portion this is the pin it button so what actually happens is when someone comes to your blog article and they're reading it, they can actually pin the exact image from your blog onto their Pinterest board. Hello? To our Pinterest board, there we go. And it will pin this image and then it will directly link back to your website. So a lot of people are having a hard time figuring out how to do that. So you can do this from the widget builder. I have tried WordPress plugins for this. I don't know if maybe it's my theme that I use in WordPress, but I cannot get it to work. And obviously that would be a lot easier if it would be automatic. But for right now, until I figure that out, I have to do it manually. So I'm going to show you how to do it manually in the long way if you have to do it this way. So here's the pin it button. You're going to do one image. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to decide where you want it shown, whether it's above or beside, uh, not shown. I don't know why you would choose that if you're looking to use the button. So I'm going to use above the button for this one because I know specifically where I want this button to go on my blog. Then this is the URL of the actual article. Okay, so I copied and pasted that. This right here, the image, you have to go back into your blog and you have to go in and get the URL for it. So I just came in here, clicked on advanced settings, copy and pasted the source code for it, came back into the Pinterest and copied it. Okay. Now it's going to ask for a description. It will automatically give you next stop Pinterest. So I'm just going to leave that, but you're more than welcome to change your description. Then you're going to build it and then this is what it's going to look like. Now this pin it button actually will show up here. So, but this is what your image is going to look like. Now, it gives you two different types of links. I don't use JavaScript. So I just come down here, I copy this link, and I'm going to paste it exactly where you want the widget to appear. All right? So when I'm back here into my HTML code, I copied it literally above, or before I should say, uh, the, the, the uh, excuse me, the URL or the description of the picture. And so that's why it loaded up here. So when you come to the article, someone can click the pin it button. It's going to open up their Pinterest account, and then they get to pick and choose the board they want, write a description and pin it. And then when someone clicks on the image on their Pinterest profile or on their board, it will link back directly to your website. So pretty cool, huh? So here's some other widget builders I want to show you. You can add your follow button onto your blog, which I have done as well. So what you do is you do your Pinterest user URL, enter your name, and then it's going to say Cheryl Stinchcomb. I can copy and paste this into a widget onto my blog, which I've already done. Now a pin widget is something that you'd want to use. Maybe you want to use uh, one of your pins as an example in your blog. So you choose a pin URL. And let's see if I have one I can use. Uh, that's not what I want to do. I'm just going to grab whatever I had open. All right, so here's the URL for that. Go back to the correct spot. Paste it, build it. There you go. Now it's going to have the pin it button so it can show, hey, pin me. And uh, then it will take it back to that exact pin. And there's your link to be able to copy. A profile widget, um, this is you typing your exact 
user profile, if you click to build it, it's going to just pull random pins. So you can't really build specifically um, any pins that you want to show, but you can change the image width, the board height, and the board width, and this is what they're calling a board. A board widget, um, what you do is you copy the Pinterest board URL, click build it, and it's going to pull uh, random pins from that board that you have. So you could use either of these, either the board widget or your profile widget, as uh, one of your timeline photos on your personal profile, your um, business page if you like, or if you're doing an article about Pinterest, you want to um, be able to use these as an example, uh, obviously which I will end up probably doing in this video. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that the Widget Builder is going to help you to be able to gain more attention on Pinterest through your blog by using these widgets. So have a really good day and if you have any questions you are always welcome to reach me on Facebook uh, which is Cheryl Stinchcomb or just send me an email or give me a call. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.